Hi guys, on this video I want to talk about one of my favorite luxury items. Yes, this is luxury even though you can find it at a drugstore. I find these items to be luxury because they make my life easier and have helped me out so much. So that's why I consider them to be a luxury item. And those are lotions or creams, moisturizers. Uh, I have two here. These two I purchased uh, value size at Costco. I have the CeraVe and the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. The CeraVe, I've already made a full review on this. The Cetaphil, I haven't yet, so I want to talk a little bit more about this. Now, this particular one that I got is with the green top, and the green top describes it to be for very dry, sensitive skin, and it's a thick moisturizing cream. As you guys can see, it's really thick and this is how it leaves my skin looking. It's fragrance free as well. Uh, CeraVe is also fragrance free. Uh, you guys want to see how the CeraVe is almost the same consistency. It's thick as well. The CeraVe is not as thick as the Cetaphil. This is how they look on my skin. I don't know if you guys can see the difference. I've been using this. Um, I've been using this now for almost two years now, and this is pretty new to me. I decided to try this out and I've been using this now for the past two weeks and I am really impressed. They're very similar. They're both fragrance free and when I try these on my skin they're both very moisturizing but I found the Cetaphil to be a slightly more moisturizing than the CeraVe. I still love this. I'm still gonna use this but this is definitely I like the way it makes my skin look just hydrated as opposed to this one the CeraVe. The CeraVe just um, once you apply it on the skin it dries into the skin and it looks as if you um, didn't apply anything. It just looks just like regular skin as opposed to this one it has a little moisturizing effect to it and it, it looks like you moisturize your skin. Both of these are fragrance free, they're paraben free, they both claim to not clog pores, they are both hyperallergenic. Both these creams have ceramides in them. I guess the only difference is that the Cetaphil has sweet almond oil, it has vitamin, vitamin B3, B5, vitamin E. It claims to repair the skin in one day, like the skin barrier in one day. I do agree with that. I do believe that it does repair. I've noticed it on my skin. It leaves my skin very nice and moisturized. It feels really, really nice and soft and moisturized. I've even used this on my face and I haven't had any issues with it like breaking me out or anything. So I really love this product and I'm happy that I was, you know, took the risk in trying it even though I already have my CeraVe. But yeah, I still love my CeraVe as well and this one as well. Uh, both of these are really good. But right now, I just feel like for like heavy duty dry skin, I feel this one works a little bit better. Especially with my enzyma, I feel like this does a really good job. Uh, this one too, but as you guys uh, saw, the cream on this is a little bit looser than this one. Like this one almost feels like butter because it's really thick. Now the CeraVe has a claim to help with enzyma. The Cetaphil doesn't really uh, have that claim in it, but I found it to work very well with my enzyma. I mean, 
the moisturization that both of these creams and this one does is really good it works just as well as the CeraVe so yeah it just depends on personal preference because the CeraVe is going to dry down and give a matte finish to the skin as opposed to Cetacil this is going to give a more sheen look to the skin it's not going to look greasy or anything it's just going to look um, just well moisturized and it has just the slightest slightest sheen to the skin and I really love that especially on my legs um, especially during the summer wearing skirts or shorts um, this has come in handy on my legs and uh, this I like to wear this like um, at night like if I take a shower at night I'll put this on and it's just going to absorb into my skin and you know make my skin nice and moisturized and soft but yeah I don't have anything negative to say about neither one of these moisturizers because they're both really amazing and have done really amazing jobs on my skin and have done a really good job in moisturizing my skin I have really dry skin and I have um, eczema on my finger which with the moisturizers that I have been using it has almost disappeared like here on my finger I'll show you I used to have I used to get like really dry patches here to the point where it would get like blisters and now like with the moisturizers that I have been using it's almost like gone and almost like I didn't have anything so it's just to show like these two are really amazing and it really helps switching over to fragrance free moisturizers and uh, ever since two years ago I switched over to using you know fragrance free moisturizers like these and I have seen a drastic change on my skin and just how well moisturized and soft it feels but these two are really good it all depends on what type of finish you want if you want a matte finish go with the CeraVe if you want a more sheen um, finish go with the Cetacil but both of them are amazing I wear both of them um, it just depends on what type of mood I'm in that day I'll just pick whichever um, I'm able to wear both of these on my face without having to worry about them breaking me out so yeah and I also love that they're fragrance free because that gives me the liberty to wear my perfumes and not you know my lotions is not going to be uh, interfering with my perfumes but yeah I just wanted to stop by and give my review on Cetaphil and the CeraVe cream moisturizers because they're both very similar and we see them in the drugstores and oftentimes we don't know like what's the difference because they're both very similar and to me I found that the difference was that Cetacil tends to have like the you know vitamin B, vitamin 5, vitamin E oils, the almond oil and it has a little sheen effect I think it's because of the oil as opposed to the CeraVe it has a matte finish but yeah Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. See you on the next video. Bye.